Hi, I'm Gerald. And I'm Deja. Thank you for being an air keeper with Clean Air NC. In this video, we're going to show you how to set up and mount the Purple Air PA2 sensor. This process should take about 10 minutes. As an air keeper, you're helping clean air measure levels of air pollution. The Purple Air sensor that you'll be installing today measures particulate matter, which is made up of very small particles and liquid droplets that can be harmful to human health. Understanding exposure to this pollutant is critical for protecting our health and for making informed decisions. All across the state, air keepers can use the data we collect to make a difference in the air we breathe. Let's get started. To begin, you will need the Purple Air sensor, a power outlet, and password to your reliable Wi-Fi. For device setup, it is recommended that you are in the same room as your wireless router. You'll find best results using Chrome as your browser. You can also use your smartphone for this process. In the box, you will have the Purple Air sensor, an outdoor power supply cord, a mounting screw, a fun sticker, and three optional mounting zip ties. I will now show you how to start up your Purple Air sensor. We will start by powering it on. Prior to outdoor installation, the Purple Air sensor must be powered on and connected to reliable Wi-Fi. You will want to perform this setup indoors before moving the Purple Air sensor outside. First, attach the power supply to the Purple Air sensor. Then, plug the power supply into any nearby wall outlet. You will then see a light on the underside of the monitor turn on. This is how you will know your Purple Air sensor is now powered on. Next, we will connect the Purple Air sensor to Wi-Fi. This is where you will need your Wi-Fi password. On your computer or mobile device, go to the Wi-Fi settings. Connect to the sensor's network. The network will be named Purple Air followed by a two to four character code that is determined by your sensor. This code is unique. Please keep in mind that your sensor may need to be plugged in for several minutes before it appears as a network option. Once you click on the Purple Air network, a pop-up window will appear directing you to sign into a Wi-Fi network. The pop-up window will list all available Wi-Fi networks within range of your sensor that you can connect it to. Choose the Wi-Fi network you would like the sensor to connect to, enter the password for that network, and click Save. A bar at the top of the screen will turn green when your connection is complete. You can now exit the pop-up window and switch your computer or mobile device back to your normal Wi-Fi network. If this process fails, numerous attempts may be needed for successful network connection. You may have entered an incorrect password for your Wi-Fi network, or the sensor is having trouble connecting. This is not uncommon. Go to www.purpleair.com slash register. Enter the sensor's device ID exactly as printed on the sensor's label. Make sure to enter the colons. It will then ask you to enter the associated email address, which is the email that was used to purchase the sensor. If you are using a sensor from CleanAir NC, use sitsi at cleanairnc.org. If you bought the sensor yourself, use the email address given when you purchased the sensor. In the box labeled Location Name, type Clean Air NC, followed by a unique name for the area you installed the sensor. In the final box of the form, Device Owner's Information, enter the required information to include your own name, email address, and phone number. Click Register and look for a green Successful Registration Notice. A registration confirmation email is sent to the associated email as well as the device owner's email. This email includes a link to view your sensor on the Purple Air map. You can now unplug and move your sensor anywhere in Wi-Fi range without having to reconnect to your Wi-Fi. Now you're ready to mount your Purple Air sensor. A few things to consider first. The location must be in a convenient place to reach, have access to a power outlet, and fall within the range of your Wi-Fi network. Be sure to mount the sensor high enough above any surface so that rain doesn't splash into the underside. 
The sensor should be away from local sources of pollution, such as barbecue grills, vents, and any foliage that would increase the likelihood of insects getting inside the laser counters. Also, try not to install the monitor under a porch or a balcony where air may not be able to flow as freely. Install the sensor in a vertical position with the open end facing towards the ground. The sensor is designed to protect the device from the elements while allowing air to flow freely past the two laser counters. Finally, connect the power supply to a power outlet and tuck the wires away. In some cases, the monitor can be installed using zip ties. It can be as simple as slipping the ties through the bracket and around a post or beam. Either way you decide to do it, once your monitor is mounted and plugged in, you will now be able to receive live readings of the air quality around your home on the Purple Air map. On your computer or phone, go to map.purpleair.com. Based on your location, you should now see your sensor. Congratulations! And that's it! Thanks again for being a part of the Clean Air NC Airkeepers. You are now part of a great group of volunteers working hard so we can all breathe easier. Mm -hmm.